In this video, I'll showcase the Illithid power that each class will receive, plus a hidden one that you can only obtain if you choose the proper dialogue options once you find the Myconid colony in the Underdark. After being implanted with a Mind Flayer tadpole, the main character gained a special power called Illithid Persuasion. A strange this is an infallible way to influence other characters. Using this three times will unlock the Illithid power. You should have used it once already on the Nautiloid, while saving Shadowheart from her pod. Where are you? Taking a long rest will unlock this cutscene, where someone is calling out to you. The quickest way to use it again twice is by talking to Brenna and Andrik, just northwest of the Druid Grove gates. Taking a long rest after this conversation will trigger another cutscene. The twilight is darker than expected. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Here, you can use a lithid wisdom for the third time while confronting Lizel. Chosen, let me come to you. I can help you. In the dream sequence that follows, don't resist the goddess or whoever this person is. Once you wake up, you'll get a message saying you have gained a new power. The sorcerer's illithid power is called Horrific Visage. It deals a maximum of 4 psychic damage per turn for 3 turns. It also replenishes 2 sorcery points. Sorcery points can be used to cast metamagic spells, and this particular illithid power can be cast with twin spell to make it hit two enemies. The Paladin's Illithid power is called Fracture Psyche. This will reduce the enemy's armor by 1 for 5 turns. Should the target die before the spell ends, you can recast this on another enemy, and the armor class reduction is now 2. seen everything. The enemy was able to resist the spell here. However, you can keep on recasting this spell as many times as necessary. Here's the second attempt where it finally succeeded. Casting Ink Blot will produce darkness where the rogue can immediately hide in. This darkness will last for two turns. It blinds enemies, as well as the rogue. So yeah, good luck hitting enemies with disadvantage on your attack rolls. The fighter's psionic pull allows you to pull a creature within 18 meters towards the fighter. This is a bonus action that can be recharged by taking a short rest. Wizards gain the Reflective Shell spell. This spell reflects any projectile targeted at the wizard back to the attacker. This lasts for two turns. The Cleric's Survival Instinct will cause the targeted creature to heal himself when his hit points is reduced to zero. This will only trigger once, and the maximum hit points healed will be 12. 
If you look closely, this Wurg's next attack will knock out the Paladin, Miss GB. However, Survival Instinct immediately triggered, and she was healed for 6 hit points instead. The Warlock's supernatural attraction allows her to teleport to another parasite-infected creature within an 18-meter radius. No time for mercy. The Bard gains the Stage Fright spell. This spell's area of effect is 12 meters in diameter. This will inflict affected enemies with disadvantage on their attack rolls for 3 turns, and they take a maximum of 12 psychic damage every time their attack misses. While raging, barbarians can activate Endless Rage. This adds 1d4 additional slashing damage to their weapon attacks, and prevents their rage from ending early. This, however, will inflict 1d4 psychic damage each turn. Remember, Rage ends when they haven't attacked or taken damage on their last turn. The description says 1d4 additional slashing damage. But what we see here is a plus 12 additional damage added on top of that. In this attack, it became a 2d4 slashing damage, plus 12 additional damage from Endless Rage. The druid's power, called a barren shape, allows him to shapeshift into an intellect devourer. This creature deals psychic damage, and has 21 hit points. The description says that your strength, dexterity and constitution will take on the attributes of this creature. Meaning, it will be set to 6, 14, and 13 respectively. Expect to be encumbered, unless all you're carrying are the hopes and dreams of a goldfish. Synaptic Discharge deals a maximum of 8 psychic damage, with a maximum range of 18 meters. Devour Intellect is perfect when fighting against wizards, as it will reduce their intelligence by 11 points. Yes. Gale has 16 intelligence. Hitting him with Devour Intellect reduced his intelligence to just Lost 5. This now gives him a minus 3 penalty to ability checks. The ranger's power, called Force Tunnel, allows him to charge forward and push all creatures in the way by 4 meters. This will not provoke opportunity attacks, and can be recharged by taking a short rest. As mentioned, there is one more illithid power. You can get this once you reach the Underdark. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? In the Myconid colony, tell Blurg that you've been infected you by a Mind Flayer tadpole. An illithid tadpole? It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Ormelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceremonies. That's impossible. But intriguing. Are you looking They will then send you on a quest to gather ingredients for a potion. I'm not going to dwell too much on this, but the bottom line is, this made the parasite so much stronger, and awakens a new power called Repulsor that you can use. Repulsor will push back everything around you by 6 meters, and can deal a maximum of 12 force damage. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.